I think it was part of David's process to sort of get people um, thinking in different ways and expecting different things and expecting the unexpected from the other actors. Uh, so when something, you know, was thrown at you uh, on the set, you'd be essentially prepared for anything because we just did so much in terms of um, exploring and, and, and mining a scene for every, every little aspect of it and, and trying to find something new every time we've done it, even though we've done maybe a given scene like 20 times. It's like trying to mine it even deeper and see, uh, find something that we haven't uh, found before. He's a fighter, but he's not, he's, he's um, given up that side of his life. Uh, because of an event that took place, he's sort of backed away from criminality. Uh, he's backed away from aggression. He's backed away from being who he is, you know, because part of this superpower that he has is it's, it's an, just an uh, innate part of him. It's been with him since he was really young. Um, it's like he gave up a big part of who he was. And later on in the film, you, he, you know, he sort of rediscovers it and allows himself to, uh, to be okay with accessing that side of him, you know. The idea is that the character, you know, was uh, born in, in L.A. and he grew up around this like, gang culture and spent time in prison. And so that was like a large part of um, where the look came from, you know, a very sort of classic like gangster cholo kind of based look, which is I, I, I think it's, you know, taking what was in the new 52 version of uh, Suicide Squad and kind of where they the direction they took the, the character in that that newer version and it was like you know sort of taking that but taking full ownership of it and kind of creating something a little unique um it was i mean the process was kind of interesting uh it started off with a little bit of tattoos and they they started getting you know um, start growing it was like everywhere my entire body was covered with tattoos and during sort of that like process of trying to find the complete look of the character. I was like, yeah, the more the merrier. The, 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 the more I don't look like me, the better it's gonna be. Will as an individual, I mean, I, I was confused when I first met him. I'm like, nobody could be this happy. Nobody could be this cool. Nobody could be this like, um, just grounded. He is such a centered human being. I, I think it's, uh, it's admirable. You know, it's like I someday I hope to be able to find that place within myself. But he's like, he is happiest when he's making other people happy, when he's making other people feel good, when he's sort of lifting other people up. I mean, that's the kind of individual he is. He's, uh, he's really, you know, a remarkable guy. Independence Day Resurgence has been given a $200 million budget, $125 million more than Independence Day 1, which had a $75 million budget and had a box office result of more than $800 million, making it the highest grossing movie of 1996. Click here for more cool videos. Thanks for watching.